guys so today I will be doing a book tag video and it is the inside out book tag um, I love inside out so much is it's probably one of my favorite animations of all time so when I saw the book tag going on on YouTube I was like oh my gosh this is so good I would need to do it so if you want to know how I'm going to match the books like match each book with each emotions please keep on watching So the first question is joy. What book brings you the most joy? And my answer would have to be to two. It's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I believe this is also everyone's answers to this question. Actually, the whole like Harry Potter series bring me so much joy throughout the time. But if you ask me to pick just one, it's going to be this book, the Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. Because first of all, no one important or no one that I loved died in this book. And second of all is because, I don't know, it, there's something enchanting about the book. Whenever I pick it up to read, it's just like reading it like the first time. It's like something, there's something magical about this book. So definitely the book that brought me the most joy. So the second question is discuss which book grosses you out the most. And it's really hard for me to pick just one book to gross me out because I normally don't read something that will gross me out so it's pretty hard but while i was searching through my shelves i saw this i've seen this book and i was like maybe this book makes sense or oh, this book can match the disgust feeling that i have um i know this is probably everyone's favorite but i'm gonna pick it out anyway it's the selection um it doesn't make me want to vomit or anything like that not that kind of gross out but the personality and the I don't know the the characters, especially America Singer. It just it just grows me out. It's like disgusting. I don't like her idea. I don't like her character at all. Maybe she grew up in the second book and the third book, or even in the air in the last book of the series. I don't know. But for the first book, I just think she has one the most disgusting personality ever. And I don't say that very often to a characters because I know that. To become the, like a protagonist, the author needs to put so much thought in it. I don't know, she just want me to be like... Oh. No. Third question, fear. Which books scare you more than anything? Um, and it's really hard to pick up any book from the shelf to put in this category because um, I read a lot of... Okay, I read a lot of ghost story online and I'm scared. But uh, when it comes to the actual book, I tend not to pick up the book that um, that's I know going to scare me, and so I don't own many kind of ghost story or horror type of book. But I remember one book from the childhood, and this is the Deking Ida or Two Little Girls Called Ida that really scared me when I read. First of all, because of the illustration, the, the illustration is really scary. I'm gonna show you some of the picture, like this. I was like, what? What is that? Um, it's basically about a, um, a chair trying to find... Um, it's not a normal chair, it's a talking chair trying to find a girl called Ida. And I didn't really st understand that much when I was a child. I, While I was reading it, I was just like, oh, this is a really interesting book, but it's also scary and creepy at the same time. But when I grew up, and I look back and I read it again. It's actually about World War II in Japan. Um, even though it gives you that sense of creepiness, but when by the end of the book you will feel so, I don't know, it feels so sad. It just that sad and scary type of book, if you ask me. So, but I think it fits more in the category of fear. So I pick it up for fear. So next question is sadness. Which book made you cry the hardest? And this is really easy for me to pick up. And it's another book from Harry Potter series. It's the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow. Um, I don't know if it's going to like spoil you or anything, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, I cry because one of my most um, favorite character died in this book. And um, I think there are so many characters that grow into you already like it's seven book already and they finally died 
in this book. It's just so sad. I remember crying since like the first couple of chapters when they all went to pick Harry up and something died during the journey. That thing. I cried since. Last question is anger. Which book pissed you off? And this is pretty easy. It's The Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Oh, I just realized that the other book except from Harry Potter series just match all the color like this one matched like the green color of disgust and this one matched the color of fear that has that purple to it and this one matched anger like it's all red okay back to Allegion why this book pays me off the most is that well first of all I must say that I'm a huge Divergent fan I love Divergent I love Insurgent I introduced them to anybody that hasn't read the series yet and I have such a high hope for this book um, when it first came out I was so excited to read and at the end I was like what is this um, actually I'm not mad of what happened but I'm mad at why this happens if that makes sense like it's okay to end the story this way like to, to end the whole series this way but but why why <laughs> the reason behind this is it's not that convincing to me I feel like she could have done better like, but it's okay well it's still a good series though but it just pissed me off so much yeah especially it's the, it's the last book of the series I was like what oh <sighs> hey that's all for my inside out book tag um if you want to do just do it it's so fun and yeah I don't have anything more to say about it hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you all next time bye